there, Dretz Mogwai here, and I got yet another Legends of Runeterio for guys. Today, today we're playing some bird, because bird is the word, and I want to play Arcade Anivia, one of my favorite alt skins in the game, with the new card, the Harrowing Return. Four mana slow speed spell that says revive an ephemeral copy of the strongest dead allied follower, and then give enemies minus one power this round so this card at first uh i was really looking to build it with nocturne in a nightfall deck and i may explore that in the near future but i really wanted to play it in this deck first i got inspired by lucky cad big shout outs to him for his take on this archetype and i really like his approach of combining oblivious islander with your boy the hunting boar back at it in the channel this guy back to back on videos even though I, at first i didn't know what the hell to do with it here we are as we are trying to play oblivious islander on turn one giving this ephemeral and reducing its cost to two so we can play hunting boar on turn two right and this not only does it allow us to to ramp it actually gives us extra synergy with the harrowing return because there are two main uses for this card in this deck one of them that's pretty obvious is to revive the rekindler you know we kill the rekindler with a glimpse beyond or just using it in combat and then we can harrowing return to return it and for four mana we're essentially getting an anivia back onto the board which is really really good in case you're wondering and also we can use the herring return with the hunting boar potentially with the ideal opener in which you have hunting boar alongside the oblivious islander and harrowing return in hand you turn one oblivious islander all right you turn two hunting boar it dies you ramp and then turn three you have four mana in which you can play harrowing return which will resurrect an ephemeral version of the hunting boar that died enabling you to ramp yet again which means that by turn four you will have six mana in which you can drop uh, Nivia and that is the tits it's gonna happen very little because you need three specific cards right <laughs> and, you know and card games are card games right but when it does it's absolutely glorious and i really like the fact that this card can be either an, an a source to ramp early on or just a anivia generator in the late game like it has that flexibility and i think it fits this deck really neatly because of this i believe lucky cat only had one copy of it but i like the synergy so much that i'm actually running two of this and we're running a full set of the harrowing it's still extremely important to make sure that you draw into this because this is our win card this is the card that we play and we're like i win the game because we essentially bring back all of them dead anivias and just completely overwhelm the opponent as of course we're playing shadows control we have a full set of vengeance we have a one-off of Ruination to wipe out all sorts of boards. You can even argue for two copies of this, but I didn't want to go too heavy on the far end of my curve, and I, I value three Harrowings more over a 2-2 split, uh, split, personally, because I think Harrowing is the more important card by far. And as we go down, we got some AoE here, you know, standard Freljord edition, a couple of Flash Freezes, a couple of Gluttonies to get our Anivias into Rekindler spawns, and uh, we have a full set of Entreat, which can either search us in Anivia, which is really important because our entire deck actually revolves around it, literally. Well, not, not, not literally, but, you know, <laughs> you get what I'm saying. Uh, but it also becomes in a harsh wind. I am recording, right? <laughs> like I just checked just to make sure that I didn't forget. I, I would have been like rambling for like over three minutes. So we have Entreat to search for Anivia, which turns into harsh winds, which allow us to frostbite. Uh, the opposing board in a metagame that's actually very very good for frostbites because there's a lot of big boy threats running around whether it's elusives with zed whether it's viego and the legion deserters with atrocity or just uh, these new nami decks running around as well which harsh winds can uh, allow you to buy a lot of time it's a very good environment for it and on treat as a three of uh, is pretty important in the deck in my opinion because you can always play a harsh wind shuffle anivia again and you'll, you'll never run out of targets with on treat in the right matchup and it'll always find good value and it'll also allow you to thin through your deck which is all good stuff and ladies and gentlemen boys and girls dogs and cats fish that is the deck list right there hopefully you guys enjoy the games that i got for today some of them are pretty dragged out you know it is a nivia uh nonetheless i think i got some good uh, diversity of matchups and yeah it's a pretty good showcases as well so i'm gonna stop rambling thank you guys for watching stay tuned for daily legends of runeterra content have a soul day enjoy the games i'll see you guys tomorrow all right here we go let's play some bird Ruination is actually a keep here, and so is Vengeance. Blended Ravine 
can be useful. We're gonna keep this in. It's definitely slow, but Ruination is a one-off in the deck, and uh, we're definitely in a matchup in which we can make use of it. Blind Ravine can be decent at clearing out a bit of a spread out board state because there are definitely certain... There's not a lot of two health stuff going on around here though, especially if they build up the tentacle. So I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know why why they had to ponder that. <laughs> I don't know why it took like so long to play the one drop that you always want to play on a curve. Hard decisions. We're we're up against a very slow player. Welcome to the tipsy hour. Like they are taking like twenty seconds <laughs> for every turn. Oh my god. Alright. Life is too short for fear. We have vengeance. Let's talk about your death. Train to that, weaken it. And then play Bladder Ravine. Perfect. Perfection! The spirit of winter awakens. We'll just set up a Nivea. Because the earlier you play Nivea, the better. And the earlier a Nivea dies, also great. Because we have the Rekindler here, we have the Harrowing. We got our entire late game. Now we just gotta get copies of. Of our bird, our cute bird. Success. <laughs> Success. Gets around here. All right, cool. <laughs> Did she just cuss at me? Trying to level up Jarvan, which I get. Maybe I maybe I should have uh, Vile Feast to prevent that. I didn't really think about that, to be honest. But hey. That's great to have. For my homeland! Shield up! We want Anivia to die, so we can play Rekindler, and then we have access to... Return to us! Return to us! And then we can, uh, Harsh Winds. <laughs> and hey, getting a Cataclysm out of them... I didn't think uh, that, that's a neat way to get Jarvan out. But thankfully for us, we got that Vial Fee, so we slowed down the level up. More opportunities for Jarvan, though. If they have another one in hand, they could still open Don't attack. Which seems to be the case. I protect this place. There. These old eyes. 
I still see far and clear. Leave your bags in the door. I wanna heal up a little bit, set up the Everest Sentry so when I do decide to rotation. Ours is but to do and die. We pass here. The plan is to set up a Nevia, go for the Gluttony this round. You know, unless they decide to do nothing here. Let's just play reactively, basically, is what we're doing. They may set up another attack here, but if not... We do just that. See no reason not to attack with everything here. Leave this place. Ooh, got some fight in ya. Make it worth my while. We can Jarvan. See if we're actually forced to use Renation or not. As long as we have this heroin, they have no counter for this, so we're just we're just playing very reactively here. That's fine. That's very much fine. Let them build up. With me. <laughs> We're inside. Start the egg, so still forcing more cards out of them, forcing them to commit even further. I think this is a good ruination. I think this is a good time to ruin it. In my opinion, to be honest, just saying. If you draw a card with a sentry. <laughs> get the hunting boar, which is absolutely useless. Pass and now, now we have some fun. That sparkles with me. <laughs> That's a sparkle with him. <laughs> ah, did it? Did it get summer? I think this is the same player. But they they switched decks. At least Jace Vi. All right. We got the hunting boar. We got the glimpse. I can drop the blighted ravine for now. I mean, blighted ravine honestly would be good. We don't know what their early game is like, and it, it kills their own hunting boar. Maybe I derp there. If we know at least on a curve, you know that that would that would kind of suck. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 at least. You did not draw at least. Fuck, good. Good armadillo sadico. If it's a people problem, I'm your man. That means the sadist armadillo, in case you're wondering. That's a name. That is indeed a name. Still would suck to see at least here. Open attack, I'm all for that. Kill it? No? Okay. Let's get our free damage. I would really like to You dropped something. I dropped everything. Okay, so now 
glimpse here. We're gonna invite a mystic shot or whatever. Unless they want us to draw. But no matter what. We be ramping. Ooh, that's perfect. I I could just play you into you to draw, honestly. Sure is dark, eh? These old eyes still see far and clear. Don't mind me, just cycling through my deck. Oh, these gluttonies. Even though we only have to rekindle her, so <laughs> they're, they're actually one of them is actually dead. But fine, it's fine. Nothing beats field testing. Here in your time of need. All right, so quick attack. There's no countering this gluttony play, which is phenomenal. We're gonna go for it immediately because as they re refresh their mana, they can definitely develop more or have access to more options to counter this. But with four mana alone, should have gone with Challenger, bruh. Be able to challenge my egg. Now to come back with a vengeance. Or powering up. Probably die, but you know. I could honestly, like, I kind of want this to die. Started. But I'd rather use it for offensive stats here, so I'm just gonna sponge with this. Kind of needed that anyways. Man overboard. Uh. They can't double up on six mana plays anyways, so I think this is a turn in which we do this. Return to us. Just for maximum tempo. This is pretty nutty. Maybe I should be playing three Rekindlers. It just feels like I, I don't I don't need another rekindler at this point. Oh Gotta love it. Go away. No! I hate traffic. Yeah, me too. We're after Vengeance next round, I think. Yeah, we're gonna have to venge this, this chase because we, we can't play around with that. Still a couple of turns for us to pop these eggs, so. <laughs> this is the cutting edge of progress! Is this your signature? Is this, is this actually another copy of you, Jace? No, it's actually Shock Blast. Okay, so. We're gonna vengeance here. We cannot mess around with that. No, sir. There's a hunting boar. <laughs> Turn too late. God damn it, bro. Come to the light. It will all be over soon. Nagakabura sends her blessing. Oh, it's Nagakabura. This is our time. That works out. In my opinion, to be honest, just saying. Now, Harrowing, Harrowing Returns. These kind of cards work out pretty nicely. That Vengeance is good, though. If we see another Jace, we go for it immediately. That's a priority, because Vi with Flash Freezes is not really a threat. The future is what I make it. Ooh. Still in four to the enemy next is that really a big of a deal? Oh, hello there. Oh. 
Get a ramp! To infinity! This guy's head. Get a sad, not gonna lie. Snow, wind, and ice. Impress me. Seek your fear. Yeah, we're just one harrowing way from just going nuts here. Uh, well, no tomorrow. No tomorrow for you. I'm sorry. This is as old as you get. Because you're a problem. That's fine. Okay, ten. For vicious, forever watchful. Gotta keep dumping these Anivias until we thin our deck, so we <laughs> we draw until harrowing. It's any harrowing. I really, I, maybe I need a, th a third rekindler to be honest. <laughs> well, that could have been a progress day, so I'm, I'm happy to see that. Uh, bro. Bruh. It, it's about time we get that heroin, right? Thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what are you going to do right now? <laughs> GG, bruh. The fisherman just stays in the back. <laughs> Respect. It's gonna take a while. Yeah, we're gonna finish this because every strike is gonna end in Anivia dying. And we're actually gonna spend like literally 30 seconds here. Okay, okay, never mind. Okay, oh, okay, no, not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh, alright, alright, yeah, okay, enough. <laughs> enough is enough. They all died. Fizz. Fizz. Nami T I'm so used to like Fizz TF. Nami TF. English. I like the gluttony with the Anivia. I like the harrowing return. I'm gonna keep this hand. It could be better, but it could be far worse. And I feel like Tavern Keeper is important here. Maybe, maybe not two of them. Maybe it could. I mean, Mulligan in my only three drop feels kind of, um, as the kids say, uh, sus, right? I, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to be sus. Okay. I'm going to just uh, vile feast this thing. I think. Maybe. We'll see. Because I, I could... Like, I actually really want to do that. Because I, I want to show the combo with Harrowing Return. Like, I do this. I gotta spend their, their spell mana. I Vile Feast and then I Harrowing Return. And I, 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 I Omega Ramp. Omega ramp, ladies and gentlemen. The most powerful of ramps. Oh my god. Alright, is that TF setup? Never it lost is. a fair game. Played one. Eyes open. Alright. Look at that. So 
something ancient stirs. I could ramp some more, but right now there's nothing for me to ramp into per se. My quest is dangerous, but I will see it through. For my homeland. Should probably keep you in the back to block. This harrowing return should be used with with this. Maybe I should do this. Well, let's just. For my homeland. you can do about it to be honest. Leveling up. If they're out there, I'll spot them. Because I, I I wanna do that before he yeah. I know he could level up here. Looks like I'm on a hot streak. I'm gonna glimpse my rekindler so I can use the harrowing in return. Nivia. I want to do this before the open before the next turn starts because I want to be able to threaten the Nami upon open attack and then I can just try to vengeance. The rest of the now we just open attack no matter what. Try to do our best to clear this board. Thank you. 
So I'm going to have a total of six, nine. There's no reason for me, with, with double freeze like this, there's no reason for me not to play this. Welcome to the tipsy hour. To heal myself up, because I still have access to... I still have access to... All these freezes, you know? Now, where was I? about your dad. We can freeze here. Because that means that we don't die. Right. This. Shuffle. And now we can do this. To minimize the damage. Preserve both of our Navias so we can open attack with them and trigger the effects. So we can wipe out this board. Including that twist of fate. This is gonna be a bit of a liability. Like them flooding like that is great. I'm a people person. All right, here we go. <laughs> Terrible drop. <laughs> wind and ice. All right, double attack here. That's the second to Fate we'll be taking down. You're bluffing. Not being honest, bro. What matters is the skill is on the stack. That's all that matters in order to try to wipe out this obscene board. <laughs> like, this is a lot. Like, this this four AoE damage is really brutal for this board state. Okay, let's just go and face. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Clean. Soak it in. Clean board wipe here. Resetting everything. Beautiful. One twist of fate left in the deck. Hopefully that. No, it's, it, don't don't come back, please. Embrace the current to be swept away. To be expected. Let's thin our deck. All right. Let's see if we see this a fate. We don't, so we're gonna queue. Because otherwise, there's a consideration for to try keeping Anivia a little bit healthier. They must have a Mystic Shot. Or that, okay. Me. 
meat bigger than you. I need a uh, harrowing. Here in your time of need. I help when I can. Shut up when I can. What the fuck? Are you serious? <laughs> I'm gonna lose to a Pharaoh's top deck? Oh my god, that's so bad. The problem is if I freeze this, then they still get six power, which is too much, which means I have to I have to literally top deck uh uh either a vengeance or a, a harsh winds. That's so stupid, dude. Oh, that's frustrating. That's so dopey. I feel like I played this game pretty damn well, and I, I can't draw into a harrowing. I deal with, like, all of their champions, and they have to beat me with that shit. Oh, that's so dumb. That's so dumb. That's legit so stupid. I'm salty. That was that was like all all that investment. This is what I hate about manifest, man. Like I invest so much into a game, it's such a draw, long dragged out game, and then they just they just pull this bomb out of nowhere. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, I don't like that. Diego. Ooh, we got the opener. Nice. I actually don't mind double Anivia because of the harsh winds. No, I think we can try to do a little bit better. Especially because we have all these entreats. And we got triple vengeance as well, so we can we can deal with high end threats. Oh, but this is fantastic. Well it was fresh. The tits! You will suffer long. We'll train the spider. Hey, what's that? You dare. Get the tavern keeper in there that can trade. I like how the tavern keeper can just beat up Elise. <laughs> All right. See, if we hadn't trained to that shoot, they would have leveled up Elise, which would have been a problem. Let's take this outside. and for all and now we can play Anivia the spirit of winter awaits. we got the gluttony interesting I bring the storm
At this point, we do try to uh, glimpse to prevent the extra body. This tavern keeper still holds on to block for us. There's a harrowing there. Okay. Something ancient stirs. Let's talk about your tap. You and you. Not quite there yet. Warm hearts and hot soup. For my homeland. Now we did this. So we clear the body, we, we, we deal damage to their board. We have another fearsome blocker here. I know what lurks in the shadows. We pick up that Anivia to get that harsh winds to counter potential atrocity shenanigans as their Legion deserters are getting huge. And now we're in Double Ship. Shit reminds me of of uh What's what's the Ace Combat, right? Like insane soundtrack. Like, I, I listened to it all day, and I, I don't know why. Like this ship just reminded me of that. Uh, yeah. I mean, sure. I mean, okay. Fine. Oh. Well, that was a waste. <laughs> that, was, that was stupid. But we actually want to do this, yeah. Because we want to clear... Two arrowing, baby! <laughs> the power! And now these Hydra Vines... We've had enough of them. Impressive late game. But not impressive. Snow, wind, and ice. For snow, wind, and ice, motherfucker! Just obliterate all this degeneracy. Just gun him down. Get all, all this madness down. There's the atrocity. No, sir. No, sir. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> that means they don't have a Legion Deserter in hand. Or maybe they're trying to like play it, play around it. But god, this if you're running into a lot of Diego, this matchup is glorious. We just wiped them out, son. And still have this harsh winds backup. Life is good, man. Sunshine, rainbows, all that shit. Ooh. Kind of Useless here, but ooh, <laughs> ooh, nonetheless. All right, now we get a quote. Until our paths cross once more. Mm -hmm.